Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to my After Effects tutorial. In this episode, I'm going to show you exactly how to create this motion graphics in Adobe After Effects with the use of trap code particular. Now you can see it's a very nice particle emitter. Um, and this looks like, you know, complicated, uh, time consuming like stuff, but honestly, this is like five minutes. So let me show you how this is done. And uh, awesome people, the thing that you're watching right now, this right here, is a very quick and unprofessional animation okay if it looks good uh, yeah well it, it does look it looks okay but if you were to spend some time with a trick I'm, I'm about to show you you can end up with something like this right this I think is a lot better a lot more customized a lot more professional and this looks good so this can be used in VFX you can remember track code particular is a third party uh, third party plugin and a 3d uh, particle emitter so this can be used in VFX um, intros outros um, you know all that kind of stuff so let me show you exactly how to do this in Adobe After Effects all right so first things first I'm going to create a new composition I'm going to call this main superb next solid I'm going to call this PAR which stands for particular come to FX and presets type in particular or if you want to work like DJ style go to trap code and take particular and drop it on the solid like that yeah Alright, so by default, those awesome people track code particular isn't going to do anything, right? Uh, but uh, what we have to do now is we basically are going to go to the emitter section and start the animation for position X, Y. So, th uh, so I'm going to make sure that my CTI is on this first frame, then start the animation for position X, Y, hit the U key, move ahead in time. I'm going to go for two seconds and I'm going to take it like this. See that? Somewhere around there. So now if we were to play this you can see we get a very nice smooth animation all right and the end point for this animation awesome people is going to be three seconds so it's going to so it look something like this see that nice now if we, we were to add in a little motion to the keyframe it's going to look even better so do that do a right click keyframe assistant easy is that superb now what should we do yeah now listen awesome people the way uh, I'm going to show you how to do this is going to be a little tricky because I want you to understand how trap code particular works. Okay, I'm not going to just show you how to create this, but I'm going to give you a good reasoning too. So the next thing awesome people that you're going to focus on is getting rid of all these particles, right? How to do that? Very simple. Come to particle uh, settings in the particular plugin and reduce the life. This is this first setting life bracket second bracket. Reduce it from three just one what this means awesome people is how much long like like what's gonna be the time each particle this one particle is gonna stay on the screen and that we just changed from three seconds to one second so after every one second this particular is gonna disappear see that just boom out of nowhere boom see that so uh, that is what that setting means next awesome people is this problem right here you can see after the positioning, like the emitter stopped moving, it just keeps emitting from one point and that's not what we want. So what we'll do is we'll go back up to the emitter and we'll animate this particles per second. Animate that, hit the U key for revealing the keyframe. And what I'm going to do or some people is I'm going to take this keyframe in the center of the animation somewhere over here. I'm just going to eyeball it. No need to, you know, properly calculate anything. Let's just eyeball that. Come to the second keyframe. And reduce this from 100 to 0 so from so from right right from this point people there is not gonna be any kind of particle emitted see that super when you're working with trap code particular people it's best to understand how the plugin works and then create stuff from it you know don't just randomly go in and start doing stuff it's gonna irritate the hell out of you all right so this looks good now we will do some customization to the particles so how to do that we're gonna go to um, it's actually quite simple. I'm going to firstly change the color from white to a very nice bluish color. This right now people is looking a little dull. So the best way to add some uh, depth and some good looks to this is to change the blend mode from transfer mode from normal to add. See that? That's going to create like a nice, um, you know, stingish effect. All right. This looks good. Next is to randomize the size. So just come over here in the particle settings size size random and take this all the way up to 100 do the same thing for opacity 0 all the way up to 100 now awesome people you're gonna increase the size from 5 to 7 
and now if you were to play this you're gonna get this effect see that now awesome people what I'm gonna do in order to create depth is I'm gonna duplicate this particle solid layer duplicate this and I'm gonna increase the size from 7 to 15 this is gonna add a little bit of depth I'm gonna duplicate this one more time and this time I'm gonna decrease the size from 15 just to 3 I'm gonna duplicate this one more time and I'm gonna change this size. actually this time I'm just gonna keep it at 3 so we basically have four different particular layers if you were to play this you're gonna get this effect now it doesn't look all that nice till now uh, and one way to get rid of all these big giantish you know particles is to come over here to FX and presets type in vector just, just, just type in vector and this guy is gonna pop up CC vector blur take that and apply it to the solid which has the biggest size right so take that and do that and change the amount from 0 to 25 and you're gonna get this effect see that very nice very nice very good see that and if you were to experiment a little bit in the amount like say if we bring it down to 15 what's gonna happen if we take it up to 150 what's gonna happen and you know the possibilities people are endless so that is how you create uh, this like you know this uh, basic animation using trap code particular wait, wait wait using trap code particular in Adobe After Effects now the only thing I did was also awesome people oh yeah a uh, one yeah la, 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 before I stop my recording let me show you the end effect so right uh, at this point people when it is gonna you know go out just you know disappear what we'll do is we'll add a uh, blur to it so it's gonna look a little you know nice so I'm gonna create a new adjustment layer Contr control alt y Go to FX and presets, type in Gaussian Blur. G A U, I think. Yeah, Gaussian Blur. Take that and drop it onto the adjustment layer. And right at the point, people, when it's gonna just, you know, right there, we're gonna start the animation. Hit the U key. I'm gonna take it up to, say, 25. Now, if you were to play this, you're gonna get this, you know, nice um, depth of field effect. See that? I think you can bring it a little closer right there hmm. okay I think this is good let's play this and there we go like that nice so this is how you create um, this very basic particular effect in Adobe After Effects thank you for watching my video everyone my name is TJ Style you guys take care and I will see you all next time